Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Record of Ragnarok War. In the last episode, we went to the ba the fortress of Vatna and we defeated that, clearing off the northern path. And in today's episode, we're going straight down the middle. <laughs> we're finally going straight down the middle, and this will be honestly the la I think I think the last fortress that we have to kind of take care of right now for King Sarberg. So we're here at Voltorner, and this, well, as it, as it said before, this is a fortress battle, so we kind of have to just take care of it. So let's go ahead and move out. By the gods! Look at them! A well-trained force, if I ever saw one. Their movements are precise. He must be here. Vashor must be here. Yes, there is more inspiring. There's more inspiring them than mere numbers. You refer perhaps to an imposing figure clad from head to toe in black armor? Oh, none other than them? Did you spot a Gurg? Not yet, but it would be a simple task for me to track one down. Then do so, Fur, and take me with you. Of course! But we may encounter some, uh, resistance. We will crush any who stand in our way. It is but goblins and orcs. I can handle them on my own. Very well. Stick close to me, and take care that you do not get lost. But now, it looks like we're about ready to fight again. Again! You know, we've been doing this whole entire game. Fight, 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 fight. Uh, but anyways, um, this battle in particular, already, it's a surprise fight. Uh, I hate surprise fights. I think I mentioned uh, like I mentioned countless times how much I despise doing surprise fights because it's just so <sighs> you're all over the place you don't know where to go and you know can't get to my units I can't get to my units very well and it's just like oh god seriously I'm trying to trying to connect them all is a nightmare yeah everybody's connected now but Oh my word, it's just a nightmare trying to get everybody connected. And good lord, there's a lot of enemies here. We got two garbles, got three goblins, two orcs, and we got a husward. So this is not going to end well. So let's go ahead and take out Mr. Um Let's let's let, let's focus on getting rid of these garbles here. So let's go ahead and do that. Execution! Boom. Whoosh, whoosh, douche, 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 douche. And the power burst should just be enough to kill Mr. Garble here. There we go. Whoa! I got an aura ring. That's really good. Um, now, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna have just Durin here take care of this guy here. Oh, he doesn't have enough. Shoot. Okay, well, we, we can do that. But, lately, I've been playing a lot of RPGs. I, I kind of wanted to talk about this. Um, the newest RPG that I just recently got a hold of is a game called Tales of Zillia. It's my first Tales game that I've ever actually ever played. It wasn't until my friend Fenris Darkseal kind of told me to try it out, because he, he isn't desperately in love with the Tales series. And he told me he said I would like it. And I've played it so far, and I'm about nine hours in to the game, and honestly, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I actually really do enjoy that game. And <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I might LP it sometime in the future if I get really good at it, so... But I won't be for a long time. <laughs> so any of you guys that Tales fans, I might, might see an LP for me on Tales of Zillia whenever I get better at it. 
I know it just started out as me trying out this game, and look how much I love this game too much. I love this game. This game is honestly one of my favorite games, and honestly, it's a, it's honest, honestly, in my opinion, this game, this game is a rare gem. This is, game is a very fantastic gem. I would recommend anybody to play this game. I mean, that's why I'm doing a Let's Play on this. Not only to show you guys, like, a true 100% guide on how to beat this said game, but also, I just want to get this this game's name out there in the world of the internet. I know it's like, I know. Oh shoot! Damn! Damn! Getting all countered and stuff. Dang. Okay, but anyways, um, that's one another reason why I was really wanting to LP this game. Not only because in tribute to my wonderful girlfriend, but also. I just absolutely adore this game. This game, this RPG is absolutely brilliant, in my opinion. But, I mean, like, I just want to try and get this game game's name out there, because this is a fantastic series. There's three games in the series, and so far, I, I, well, I just ordered the second, the sequel, uh, record of Agris War 2. That game is a lot different than, than, uh, this game. I mentioned this many times before, but this, that game is a lot different than, than this game, and Zero. Record of Backers War Zero is the prequel to this game, and I'm currently playing through it right now for my first time, and I'm almost done with the game, too. But, I'm so far right now, I have beaten this game, I think I want to say four or five times already. Um... I played this game a lot, and a lot of it's like New Game Plus, but eh, I'm having fun with it. I I, I love this game, and that's why I'm LPing it. So I I and I don't see hardly any LPs of this, and I really want to get this game's name out there because this is a credible game. This game is phenomenal, and you guys seem to be ha seeing how much fun I'm having with it. I know it's taken a long time. It's been at this point, it's almost been over a year since I started this LP, but I already had an idea it was going to be this way whenever I started the project, so I already knew that it was going to take a very long time to do so, because, well, <laughs> this game is really long. I think, honestly, I remember, and I, and I didn't even pay attention, I didn't even overkill him. Well, son of a bitch, I, I, I didn't, I, didn't, I kind of goofed there. Now I won't be able to get the... I won't be able to get that, um, overkill drop he has. I don't think I'll be able to kill him, though. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I, I think I looked up one day. There's a site. I can't remember what site it was. But what happened was, it was a, a site where it kind of tells you how to, uh, how long it usually takes to complete a game. And I typed this game's name in, and I looked at it. 175 hours total trying to 100% everything. They had two categories. One for just beating it, and then one for, uh, just, uh, getting 100%. The 100% sake, which I'm trying to do right now, it took 175 hours. A common player takes about 175 hours to complete this game. And I thought, I was like, wow, that is honestly really, really long. I mean, good thing, to be perfectly honest, I'm really glad that I decided back in, like, the very beginning of this LP that I was cutting out all the random battles, because, well, that takes up a really good chunk of your time playing this game. It's just the random encounters that you run into. But, like I said, that's what makes the game really well. I think this battle system is very, very refurbished. I really think this this battle system is very good. And honestly, I, I, absolutely, I would honestly play it again and again and again until the day I die. But... That's why I'm making an LP of it. And now, the Hus word, I don't know how much damage I'm going to do to Hus word here. He's probably going to end up countering me, and this is going to hurt really damage. 
And I hate to say it, but Deshaun is probably going to get the brunt end of it. I really don't want Deshaun to get the brunt end of it. No, Laddie's is getting the brunt end of it. Ow. Okay. I, I really need to just stop, stop flapping my trap here and kind of just focus what I'm doing. Okay, uh, what can I do here? Uh, during what I got my your turn here. You. Let me just go ahead and use Sonic Wave on it. I'm just gonna keep on using said Sonic Wave Blast on it. Sonic Wave! But you guys know me. You guys know me that if you guys have been a follower of me for very long time. I'm a big RPG nut. You guys know this. Like, some of my favorite genres, uh, I'd have to say RPGs really are the top of the top of there. So, whenever I get a chance to play an RPG, I always like it. I always like playing it. Perfectly honest, and I like to try new RPGs too. Deadly Crush, oh god. Oh god. Ow. Now Deshauna's dead. Oh crap. This is what I get for just flapping my trap and not even pay attention to what in the hell I'm doing. So, okay, so now we gotta play, we gotta play this game of let's heal everybody and make sure that everybody is, you know, alive and well right now. So now we gotta play this game now. So, crap. Okay, this is what I get for not paying attention. I guess it was paying attention, but, yeah. Okay. I should do it. The freaking Husward's gonna go down. That freaking Husward's gonna go down. Now, I do believe I need to be careful anyways, because the second fight, th this second fight that's coming up is honestly a killer. And honestly, at this rate, I'm just gonna go ahead and just use all my super moves here. I'm just gonna call it good for right now. I'm not even gonna worry because I know for a fact we're gonna overkill him with just this. But anyways, like the second battle of this fortress battle is killer. It is honestly a very, very tough battle. Here's force plays. I don't think you guys ever saw this move. This move is very fucking powerful. Pardon my French. I don't usually like to say that, but yeah. I have to say it now, but that, that that move is really, really freaking powerful. Force plays is honestly one of my favorite moves, too. But my favorite moves are the level threes, which I have, which is really a pain in the butt to try to accumulate because you have to accumulate 250 SP in order to do so. Blaze storm. Doing a lot of crap of attacks. Howling Blade. Go back. There we go. Now the Husford's dead. Big old Pink Hulk. The old Pink Hulk. Got Ori Calcum. And got a Lapis Noster. There we go. No one leveled up from that. I kind of figured as much. We're in the 80s. I don't, you know how most RPGs you don't get until you get into level 80s? You're like, most games end around 40s. I mean, most common RPGs end around the, around the 40s, 50s. We're still in the 80s, folks. <laughs> we have arrived. Oh boy. There's another Garg. To resist is futile. Drop your weapons and surrender. We're so easy. Just once, I should like a Gurg to give up without a fight. You really think a Gurg's gonna give up without a fight? If they did, I could never accept it. I must take it from them at the point of a sword. Merman is ready to kill these guys. You gain nothing with such behavior. A hero understands the necessity of timing and gravity. I did not expect much, but this lacks majesty in any sense of the word. The future you desire will never come to the pass. Return to the darkness from which you came! And now we are fighting a Gurg. Now this fat battle 
This battle is tough. And I'm gonna say why. It looked like there was only one Gurg. There really isn't. He not only spawns himself, he spawns two Lin Wars. <sighs> you know how much I hate Lin Wars right now. But the Gurg is level 83. He has parry. This is the one that's more based on physical attack, more than magic. So, your only best bet for fighting this guy is using magic attacks to avoid parry. Or super moves in order to kill him. These guys, however, now you got two of them. Now I have to deal with two, two of these guys, and have to keep maintaining everybody alive too, because everybody's kind of well. It's a it's a fortress battle. You're not healing in between battles, so now you gotta kind of deal with that. Now I gotta deal with Mr. Gurg over here. I want to say. I want to try to take out. I think Lin Wars. I honestly think, you know, if all they all they have is the AGI plus, you know, it's a good it's a good item, but not worth like wasting time over. I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna go ahead and unleash everything I have. Let's go ahead and just do a cruel force here. Now I'm just gonna do power burst here, and a sonic wave. I think this will be a hopefully to kill it. I just want to kind of just take out at least one of these Lin Wars. Oh boy. I mean, like, yeah, if all they have are AGI Plus, I mean, yeah, granted, that's a very good item. It's a very good item to have, but it's no big, it's no skin off my nose if I, lo if I lose out on it. Okay, here's Curl Force. I love this move, by the way. I absolutely love this. This is just darkness-based attack, though. It's a very powerful move, too. I mean, you have to combine, like, so many... So many of those things. Nah, at least we took out one of the Lin Wars. Almost overkilled him. I don't think we're gonna be able to overkill him. Nah. He almost overkilled him. He got a Marfall Seed. I don't think I really explained what a Marfall Seed does. A Marfall Seed... It re fully recovers HP and cures any status ailments. So it's like the best healing item you can get. And honestly, if, if you have a stockpile of those, you're gonna be in good hands. Solid caliber. Now, Shauna's probably down on the count now. Edge. Oh, he, he left her alone. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised he left her alone. What is this? You're not a Gurg. You're not a Gurgi. Alright, I'm just gonna save my turn. Power burst. Since that guy has range, he's gonna be able to hit two guys at least. Ow, this is... That, that's hurting. Trick it. Good thing Perry is activating. Thank goodness. Okay. So now, gonna have to be here. I think we're gonna be good this way. Might take out the other end, Lin War this turn. Hmm. Go ahead and do this. Make another execution here. And then an impulse here. Actually, let's go ahead and do another cruel force here. And then let's do a power attack here. There we go. See, Matt's smart whenever he starts to think, at least. Ahead and do that. Hmm. 
that should be able to take care of a little more. And then that should give me enough SP, hopefully, to take care of the take care of the Gurg. And not only that, another thing is some of my characters is active skills are activating right now. Like here, Leo. He's got I think like I know for a fact that certain certain aspects are happening right now where they're gonna have a lot more power than more pack to their punches now. Okay. Lin War's dead. Okay. Now power burst. I think we might be able to overkill him. I honestly think we will. Boom. Execution. I mean, who's still got an execution left? Yeah, we got one more execution after this. We'll be able to kill him. We'll be able to overkill him this time. Yep. Especially now, because Ladius is... Ladius' skills are activating because he's in, he's in hurt hurt status right now. First hit. Back. There we go. Now what do we get? Clairvoyance. Ooh, those are good. Clairvoyance. Oh, we got an int up plus. Okay, alright. Well, that was different than last time. Uh, clairvoyances are very important, and I'm going to be using them. Main reason is for converting. If you guys remember the Halper Scythes and how I approached those, clairvoyance kind of work the same, except they give you something called uh, Accuracy Up Plus, which I need desperately. Accuracy Up Plus is a very good skill, because it increases your accuracy, obviously, and that, their hit, that brings up the hit. And that's something you really want late game. You need hit. I can't stress that enough. You need hit. When you're playing this game, you need hit. Hit is going to be honestly one of the most important skills that you need. Besides strength, besides vitality, which increases your HP, you need hit. Hit makes it so you're actually able to hit your enemies and not sitting there missing. Now I'm going to wait until I get to... There we go. Now, I should be able to... I'm gonna try this. Place where I'm gonna need 32. I'm gonna save that. Let's do this. Power attack. Oh, shoot. I should be able to do this. Hmm. Do that. And then I'm going to do rush. Oh, I need a hundred. What the heck am I thinking? Raid shot, okay. Howling blade. I, I wasn't thinking. I thought I needed more than that. Apparently not. I'm being silly right now. I'm being silly, guys. Okay, that puts Slagius out of that. Can he only do that? Okay, yeah, he can only do that. Okay, shoot, I forgot about that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put the Helling Blade. Laddies is not going to be able to attack anyways. Okay, well... Shoot. Okay, cross edge. You need a double edge. Hmm. What if power attack? Will I be able to do that? What am I trying to do? Why am I doing that? Matt. Just no. Just no. Don't do that. There's no point. There's no major impact. Hopefully this will be able to. The reason why I was, I was trying to go for Cruel Force and I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting every time I fight a dang Gurg. If I use Cruel Force, it's going to heal him. I don't want to do that. Because that's the last thing I want to take care of. Okay, Arc Ray.
Rush Storm. And I'm firing my laser! <laughs> there we go. I think we might be able to overkill him, especially now that, like, mo majority of the characters are using their super moves on him. Yeah, we're gonna be able to overkill him. Yeah, especially with just that one attack. That one attack. That must be because Rex is in 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 hurt status. And his willpowers are actually activating right now, so I think that's why. That's you see guys see why it's beneficial to have your characters in this status, even though it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous to have your characters in hurt status, but look at look at what you're doing. Look at look at that how that one rage shot that Rex did he managed to like deal massive amount of damage to him. But there we go, we overkilled the Gurg. We got a luck up from just taking him down. And we got a fight up plus for overkilling him. So that was kind of important. That was very important. And we got a crap ton of experience points. Guaranteed level ups here. Okay, let's go ahead and keep increasing the attack right now. Do that. I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyways, you desperately need the attack. I didn't mean to do that. Good lord. I really do need to get those cables in soon. I really do need to get those in. I've been kind of, kind of tight for cash right now, so I haven't been able to go and purchase said cables yet. Because I don't know what in the heck is going on anymore with this thing. But there we go. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we should be fine. Gone! Stop! No, you mustn't go. Leave me alone! Calm yourself. If you go, you will never find him. You do not even know where he is headed. I will never know unless I try. But we know that you cannot. He is gone, for now. Accept it. Poor Mermina. Forget the creature for now. With the Gurg gone, the fortress has lost much of its defensive strength. We must concentrate on what is in front of us and leave the past where it belongs. Zerva is right. We will fight the enemies that we can see. Leave any who retreat alone. To conquer the fortress is our first and only priority. I wonder if he knows where the Gurg intends to go. I know your ability to see the future is returning. Why do you stay with him? Why? Does one need a reason to stay with someone? Perhaps not. But it's odd to remain with someone you have no feelings for. True. Perhaps I am here because I do care for him. You mustn't take it too so seriously. It was mostly a joke. I'll bet a poor one. In truth, the reason I am here is I have become tired of this long life. I will end someday. I know, but I feel I have lost the meaning of it. Leo, and those of his blood, have brought meaning to my life. His existence, and that of his descendants, is life itself. 
Whenever I see his children, and their children, that is when I feel truly alive. I cannot imagine my life without Leo, Ladius, Thoma, Durin, and Rex. It can only be with them. It is this that made me realize I do not need to be able to see in the future. In fact, I should not be able to. Indeed, I have grown to dislike it. I would be a much happier person without it. Many people would give anything to see the future. You wish to abandon such ability? The future is not for the seeing. It is for touching, living, and changing. Eventually, it becomes the past. That is true. My sincerest wish is to become one of those who can live in the moment, peace with the present. If that wish is fulfilled, then there is nothing for me to wish for. It will be a long life. I hope that perhaps one day, I may have some of his children. <laughs> That is your answer. And seize your destiny and create a future you wish to live. No matter what awaits you. This is the point of the game where Deshaun is trying to find a reason. Trying to find a reason why everything it is the way it is. But, when you defeat this fortress before turn 55, the link gauge moves towards the light. You take your time and get here after turn 55. It becomes dark instead. That ought to be sufficient. Should we not report this to the king? Our messenger has likely already delivered the report. We must decide now what our next step will be. Then I shall say we make for Zillia Fortress. Damn. Seems my time is nearly up. It is more and more difficult to control my body. That bracelet's still starting to control him. I ask only for a little bit more time. Only a little. I cannot give up now. Must hold on until the end. Once I am done, you may do whatever you wish with this body. But until the time, it remains mine. Are you in pain? This continent is under Sumeril's control. You cannot escape the tendrils of his power here. Even my strength is barely sufficient to prevent it from overwhelming us entirely. I doubt that your body will be able to last much longer. Although I must admit, you are doing quite well for a mere human. You have told me nothing I do not already know. How exactly will this improve my situation? Could you not have, say, confessed your undying love for me instead? If that is not your intention from the beginning, why do you even bother to offer me your hand? I cannot end this without your help. Turn your back if you wish, but it will not be the last you see of me. Sumeril or the bracelet must be sealed, or you will have no future. Follow to the darkness, seal Sumeril, or sacrifice yourself. The choice is yours. Thank you again for telling me what I already know. I have died already. A long time ago. When Rachel's life ended, so did mine. I care little of my own life, but I did keep a promise to Leo, and I intend to keep it. 
I have never known when to quit. But I do know that now is not the time to learn. And with that... We are now done with all the fortresses uh, so far. So, after several episodes, we have cleared all three paths that we needed to take. And now we need to go report this back to King Sarborg back here at Zalilia Fortress. But, I'm going to save that for next time. So in the next episode of Let's Play Record of Backers 4, we are going to head back to Zalilia Fortress and report our success to the king. So I'll see you guys next episode.